This is from C. Merton, Huntington Beach, California. What informs your creative process in the writing slash pre-production phase? And how long do you think you let an idea, Colonel, gestate before diving in? To wit, do you like to freely flow outward and then go back and edit, or do you like to surround yourself with research as you go along? I guess, uh, probably freely flow. <laughs> <laughs> I think just to, from my perspective, there's not so much research comparatively to other filmmakers I've seen their process where they're often really gathering a lot of visual imagery and stuff. But Wes always likes to watch movies just as a matter of his course in his life. And those movies often will have some uh, relationship to what's being worked on, even if it doesn't seem like it at all. But I would say Moonrise Kingdom is a little more... The research for me and Roman, I think, was what was it like when we were 12? Yeah, no, it was recalling those sensations and you know, those memories of uh, being a kid. And so, yeah, it was just kind of reaching back into your experience well. And, and, and not so much what happened, but also what we kind of wished would happen. You know, if you had met a girl and you could run off and have this adventure, you know. But there was a girl who I had the biggest crush on in fourth grade, and she passed me a note once after school. And when I opened the note, it says, I think you're cute, call me. And um, it just, if I thinking of it, I get goose pimples now. But that's <laughs> that kind of... Uh, and I did call her, and, and I, 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 was, I kind of choked. I didn't have a, anything interesting to ask her to say. But um, anyway, I kind of wish that we would have run off together in this way. But, yeah. So we yeah. get to do it in the movie. 